surely in Jesus' name. I want to thank the Lord. He has blessed us with the car. It's a Nissan Navara. It's a Nissan Navara. Clap your hands, Ulu late. Can you glorify the name of the Lord? Hallelujah. Can you Ulu late clap your hands to show that you are not jealous? Aki tuli ari 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 aki no tua e. Hey, how not sad? Hallelujah. We thank the Lord for all the testimonies. I think one of the people were saying testimonies. He said, the reason of testifying is that our faith must be lifted up. So bringing also the cars to this place is a matter of lifting our faith. And I believe time is coming and now it's here. That cars will never be able to get inside the house of the Lord again. Kela <laughs> Greetings in the name of Jesus. From July, things will start to come right. In May, Daddy gave me a prophecy, prophecy that. In July, things will start to change. Indeed, from my birthday until now, I started to see things uh, coming to pass. So last week on Sunday, uh, so last week Sunday, he said those who want to pop out 2,000, they want to see something happening. Uh, I said my wife, she must go and do it. So during the week, we were looking for a car for a month, and then we found it. Gorendini is a Navara 2.5 DCI. They say it's a Navara 2.5 engine capacity. And color white. That's black. Uh, and then they say the color is white. <laughs> Amen. Can you clap your hands, Ulu late for the glory of the name of the Lord? Greetings viewers all over the world. Thank you for watching Charis TV. Here with me I'm with one of our two of our members here in Charis Missionary Church and they will be telling us about the power of sacrifice. 
one week ago, the man of God asked for people who can come forward and sacrifice 2,000 rand, and those people will be having testimonies. And people have been flocking in, telling us about their testimonies. And also here with us were with those who came to testify the greatness of the Lord upon their lives. And they'll be introducing themselves as men. Can you please tell us your name? Tell us where you come from. And also introduce the gentleman next to you. Well, my name is Winnie Mudzunga, and this is my husband, Isdodani Mudzunga. We are from Cosmos Dal. The man of God, one week or two weeks ago, actually it's one week ago, he called for people who can come. Actually, he called for 30 people who can come and sacrifice for getting their miracle, I can say. And you were one of them. Can you please take us through that? Uh, it was not easy because it was after we have offered. Then daddy said we must come and pledge. So we had the last money to pay for the school fees of our child. So my husband said, go and sacrifice the money. So we took from the money of the school fees and offered it. That's when we received this blessing. Amen. Amen. And you just spoke a powerful point that you took it out from the last money that you had. You were supposed to pay for school fees. And you said, I'm going forward to offer that money. At that particular moment, did you believe that a miracle will happen? Yes, I was believing. Yes, I was. Did you believe that it would be particularly a car? Yes, because I was believing for a car. <laughs> yes, yes. So you, you, during that uh, uh, testimony, you said that you just said your wife must be the one going forward to offer the money. What, what really came to you to say go? Uh, to me, uh, to me, when uh, when I had uh, the brother testifying that after. He gave 2,000, he got two tenders. So I knew we only left with money to pay the school fees of our son. So I told my wife, I said, go and sacrifice that money. So I just said that and then she didn't ask questions and she just took the card and then she went on swipe that money. Yes. So, and we've been looking for a bucket for our business for almost a month. It was very difficult to get. The ones we wanted, they were very expensive. So the, this one, this week, uh, I just got it. It was very, very easy. It, it even took us maybe only 30 minutes and then everything was finalized. Amen. And remembering that you did that sacrifice and after you did that, it touches you, it touched you, as the man of God said that every time when you do a sacrifice, it must touch you, it must pinch you. And for you to get that business car, it was easy as at that. It was, it was very, very, very easy. It was not an issue of maybe having money or a lot of money. That one, it was just a sacrifice. The sacrifice is answered, and then I believe is the reason why we got that car very easy. Amen. As you have seen God working in your life, and you you said that it was difficult to get that car, but after you did what the man of God said you must do, God did it for you. What can you say to other people out there who still don't believe in pleasure because they believe that maybe the man of God wants your money? Uh, I can encourage the viewers that when a man of God speaks you must listen and obey and then you will see what god will do because when a man is god is speaking you must not check on him you must check who is behind him if you believe he's a man of god which means he has been called by god so when he says something on the altar you must believe and obey and do it as a child you spoke a powerful point and you said i went there indeed knowing that I won this car and indeed God has given you what was really in your heart what are the words of encouragement that you can give to the viewers out there I'll say to them they must believe more and come to Charis mm -hmm. the grace of God is here yeah. we have seen God ever since we came in 2015 mm -hmm. we have seen God this is the third car that God has given us mm -hmm. so it's all by the grace of God of Charis when we came here we had nothing mm -hmm. so if you have a problem just come to Charis you see the God of Charis working for you. Amen. You even got married here. Yes, I even got married here. <laughs> yes. yes. We, we give glory to Jesus for your life. I believe that as the Almighty God has started doing great things in your life, you shall indeed come back to tell us that God is expanding your territory in Jesus' name. Amen.